Hi, thank you for joining me today. I'm Teresa Crawley at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to be showing you a pre-owned 2020 Newmar Superstar. This is the floor plan 4061. So it comes in at a total length of about 40 feet and 10 inches. So really, if we're going to be honest, let's say it's 41 feet, but we've got a lot packed into this 41 foot motor home. Um, we've got the Bermuda glazed maple cabinetry in a matte finish here, chateau decor, and a lot of really nice upgrades. So I wanted you to see the whole coach before I got started and got too far along to see if you like this floor plan. And if you don't, there are several others. And we're actually starting to get a lot of inventory here as things are slowing down a little bit. So we do have pre-owned super C's as well as some new ones that we're starting to have available. This unit is available, which I think is remarkable. Um, like I said, it's pre-owned and it's a 2020. So we're getting really close to this being three years old. But I have to say, whenever I see a pre-owned unit, um, I can judge right away if the people that owned it before took pride in ownership. And this one is definitely one I can say that about. Um, the Corian countertops are not scratched. The leather isn't snagged or dirty. Um, and it came in just very, very clean. Um, it, it doesn't have any smells or anything like that either, um, which I know you can't see on camera, but I'm more than happy if you're interested in this unit to do a personal um, video chat with you on the phone and we can go over inch by inch this coach um, just so you know what um, you're getting into if you're going to think about purchasing this. So let's start in this living area. We do have um, opposing slides in here. So it makes for a really, really open living area. And that's one thing that sets Numar apart is that they really build for a residential uh, motorhome. It's not a camper. I mean, yes, you can absolutely camp in this and they're built for off-grid, boondocking, whatever you want to call it. However, you're going to be very comfy and a little spoiled while you're in this motorhome. Um, they do things that no one else does because, well, it's more expensive, it's not required, things like that. Um, one example is that you don't see the air conditioning vents on the ceiling. They're covered by these beautiful wood um, facades. So that's just one of the many, many things you'll see. Um, really good stout hinges on the cabinetry, Corian countertops, and really nice, supple, comfy furniture. This isn't gonna rip and flake over time. Um, so in this living area, we have um, a booth situation, booth seating, which also does turn into a bed. Um, I will tell you, this is a pretty short bed. So I would say more of a child size, um, you need a, a little bit of an extra place for them to stay. Um, we do have all your manuals here intact. And then some storage overhead. Um, we'll go through that real quick because it's pretty self-explanatory. But you have your audiovisual cabinet here. And somewhat unusual in a Newmar, we have a stationary TV. A lot of Newmars, the TV will go away. Um, go down, but this is in such a great position that it can stay there and have that Bose soundbar. And you can either sit in the cab area with the seats turned around or in these recliners here, even in the booth seating area and still be able to see whatever's going on on that TV. So smart placement and a good use of space. Um, we do have a little storage underneath these and every little bit of space is of course going to matter that's a cover for the front windshield or the front cab area to keep it dark in here um, if somebody is sleeping in here or you just want some privacy one other thing for you cleaning geeks i really got a kick out of this so they have these beautiful ornamental carving here and how in the world are you going to get that clean with a q-tip no so they made it magnetic so you can get right in there and wipe that down so it always looks nice and fresh for you without a whole bunch of effort. Silly, but kind of cool. Um, 
Over here we have the cab area, which I will get to later, but I did want to point out that there's a really nice sunroof here, and that does have an electric shade that goes down that can darken that, but it gives a lot of great natural light to this sitting area here. Um, over here we have recliners that have been opted in. You can pick some other things if you were to order a new coach, which we also can do for you. But these uh, recliners are super comfy. They're also not mounted to the floor. So you can move them out if you wanted to sit in a different configuration. They're a little bit heavy, so there we go. But they can move all around. Or you can put them away against the wall so you have more walking space when the coach is closed or you can use that space for kennels or a desk or whatever it is that you need it for. So just kind of a cool little feature. A lot of these are mounted to the ground, so you can't do that with them in motorhomes. This table is mounted to the ground, which seems a little bit safer to me than not being. And you got little cup holders in here and some storage in there, which is actually fairly deep. Um, while we're here, I wanted to show you how the shades work. So we have day and night. These are your day shades and they're just rollers, which I really appreciate because they're not loud when you're driving. So they're not clanging around like the blinds used to do. They're also not fabrics, which can absorb smells and um, get dirty and snagged and things like that. So these are the MCD roller shades. These are your blackouts. And we've got lots of reading lights around here. Um, we have 110s on either side and USB ports. So you're going to find those sprinkled throughout. I don't always remember to point them out, but they're in a lot of places. We have a really beautiful porcelain tile in here. I'm going to close the door so we're not listening to the generator, but there, a little bit better. So kitchen area here. Lots of little storage, places for your trash can, and just whatevers, whatnots. Those very technical whatnots and whatevers that you carry around. <laughs> just kidding, but there's lots of them here. And then you will notice there's a little um, tiny dishwasher. And I like to point this out because some people think it's absolutely ridiculous to have a dishwasher in a motorhome. But if you don't need it as a dishwasher, it makes really great storage. So it's about this deep. Lots of big pots and pans can fit in there really easily. And who wants to be washing dishes on their vacation anyway, right? Up here, a little more storage. Great place for your plates, I would say. And then a little bit more over here. You will notice that they put some carpeting in here. That's gonna help with noise, vibration, um, things shifting. And then we do have a double sink here with Corian countertop. Um, Newmar makes all of their own, well, I shouldn't say they make the Corian. They actually um, cut them out specifically for each coach. So you know that they're gonna fit perfectly and look really nice. But here's your double sink so you can wash and dry or wash your Pomeranian in there. I don't know what, you, what you're gonna do with those, but um, you've got a really nice sprayer and a really beautiful, you know, stainless steel look here. And again, I can tell that these people took really good care of this. There's no mineral deposits or icky around there. Um, over here, we've got your Whirlpool convection microwave, which means that you can bake in here. It will crisp. You can put a pizza in there or cookies, anything like that, or just use it as a regular microwave oven. And this is an all electric coach, which means there's no propane on here whatsoever. So you don't have a gas cooktop as you would have probably in the older days of motor homing. We do have an induction cooktop, but something that Newmar does that I don't know of anyone else who's caught on to this, that you can take this thing outside and cook. So if you want to have like a, you know, a barbecue or something like that, you can just take that right outside, or if you want to make something that maybe is going to stink up the coach, like fish, you can just pull that, take it outside, and it plugs into a 110 in your basement. So that's, it's pretty clever. 
on the other side of the covers for the uh, cooktop, this is a cutting board on both of them. So just another good use of space. And then we have a Whirlpool residential refrigerator. This has water in the door and it has ice in the freezer area. So this is where your ice would come out. Good amount of space in here. And again, it's so clean. I really love the people that traded this in. Over here, we have one of your two pantries. So these have full extension pull-out uh, drawers that you can actually adjust. There's pegs in here so that you can change the height of them if this doesn't work for you. But a really good amount of space here. And then as we go around to the door side, there is another pantry or whatever you want to use this space for. But to me, it just makes sense to put uh, boxes of cereal and cans and things like that in here. But again, whatever you want to use that space for. And it does go back all the way to the door. So further than it looks like. So smart, smart use of space here. So that's about it for the kitchen area. But I wanted to show you the entry area um, there is a step cover here, which is somewhat unusual in a motor home. And let's see if I can get that to pull out. So this is important for a few reasons. You've got kids or pets that are walking around. They don't see this. They're going to fall in that hole and it's not going to be good. The other reason I think this is so smart is because all these controls are up here and some of us can't really reach as well if we're leaning over and trying not to fall down steps. So we can just step over here. You could even put a little step stool and then you can reach all of your controls, which are very important to the motorhome part. So right here we have your battery disconnect. That's your house batteries. It'll turn those off and save those for when you're not using the electricity in the coach. Um, really great to have that right by the door. Then we have security lights, uh, step lock. So that'll mean your outside step doesn't come in and out and in and out every time you open the door. So you can lock that into place. Um, helps to save the mechanism. You don't have to wait to go up the stairs because you're waiting for them to come out. Just things like that. It's nice to have that. You do have an engine block heater here. So you can keep your engine nice and warm when it's super cold out. This is just your entry lock and your basement lock here, step cover that I just put out. And this is the hydraulic step reset switch. So if some, for some reason it gets a hiccup, you can reset it right there, really easy. These are your slide out controls for this room. So I'll show you those as we go out because I want you to see how um, much room there is to walk around when we're closed up. Um, this is your HWH um, leveling system. So sometimes people ask me how this works and it's so simple you wouldn't even believe it. Um, auto level, once you have the power on here, auto level and then when you want them to come back up, auto store. It's very very easy and they are actually legs that come down and stabilize you. So that is when you're parked, you're at an uneven slope um, or you're going to be walking around a lot, you don't want the coach to shake around. Um, it's just extra stability for the coach. That's what that is, but it's so easy to use. Um, this here is your tank monitor and your heating uh, air conditioning systems. So you can check your levels of your tanks. Um, right now we're at 0% for everything because we're winterized. So that's good. And then house batteries and your chassis battery. Those are where they're at right now. You can also turn the water pump on there. These are your Gerard awnings control. So I'll show you the awnings when we go outside because I do have them deployed right now and they are glorious. There's two huge awnings on the passenger side of this coach um, and they have LED lighting, which I should turn on for you. Um, so when we get out there, it looks, you can see what it actually looks like. Um, we also have uh, manual window um, awnings on here too. So just as a side note, you don't control those with this. Um, here we have your inverter and power management system. We do have a 2000 watt inverter on this coach and eight uh, house batteries. 
So again, when we get outside, I can show you all that. Um, this is power monitoring. And then this Oasis, a lot of people are familiar with AquaHot brand. Uh, Numar uses Oasis brand. It's um, a more evolved version of an AquaHot basically, but it's a different brand. Um, it's cleaner burning and you have to maintain it um, less often. So that's kind of a handy feature, but it does the same thing. It provides a moist heat to the coach as well as your hot water. So that's what that is. And that's all that's up there. We'll go back into the bathroom area. In the hall, real quick, I'll point out, you do have a fantastic fan that's nicely covered here in the kitchen area, but that's what that control is. And you also have one in the bathroom that we're gonna see in a moment. Um, we also have a central vacuum system. Love the kick plate. So if you just have a little mess and you wanna sweep it into there, um, you can just kick that plate and it'll suck it away. Or you do have a place to put hose and attachments just like a conventional um, vacuum system. Um, in the basement, we'll see that there's a place that you can actually attach those attachments down there and vacuum out your basement as well, which is cool. And you also will empty it down there and change filters and things in the basement. So here's one of those cool Numar doors. So it pivots in the middle. And the reason they do this is because when the coach is closed up, all the slides are in, it's gonna be narrow here, obviously. So this makes it easier to be able to get into the bathroom because your door isn't sticking out this much further. So that's the reason it is really cool looking though. And this is your bathroom. We do have a full length mirror and a hook here, but also a really good sized shower with a skylight for those taller people. Um, we have a teak wood um, uh, place to sit in here, sorry. And it can go away if you don't want it in your way either. But one thing I'm super excited about that this has, there's a blue thing on the wall here. And I'll just show you this little blue button and it's attached to this thing. That is a water miser or water recirculation system. So what that does is say you want your hot water to be here, that water is not gonna come out of the spigot until it's at that temperature. So really smart. You're not just throwing your water down the drain. Um, really a great system, very smart for especially boondocking people, people who can't be hooked up. Um, there's that other fantastic fan I promised. And then in here we have a really good size medicine cabinet. And again, this goes back all the way to the end of the wall, which that's going to give you another at least six inches. So good amount of space there. Numar is also smart that they put your wires and fuses up here out of the reach of children, um, but really easy for you to access as well if you need to reset those things. And a porcelain toilet that is an automatic or electric flush, I should say. Um, and then we've got your fantastic fan control and a full length mirror. So pretty basic, great, greatly appointed bathroom, but there it is. Back here is your master bedroom and you do have a nice privacy door that's gonna help keep out the light and noise. And if you have guests, give you a little privacy. Um, the customer that ordered this coach special before um, opted to have a queen size bed. And you would ask, why would you do that? Well, some people like cuddling. No, <laughs> that might be a reason. But the main reason is so that they have this extra counter space. A lot of people have a lot of stuff they like to keep on their bedside table. When you have a king size bed, you don't have that space. This all will go away. So you just have this little bit and that's not always enough room to put a glass of water and a sleep apnea machine and an alarm clock and whatever else you like to put there. So that's why these people um, opted for a queen size bed. It does give you quite a bit more storage on either side of the bed underneath as well. And then of course we have 110s and USB ports on either side as well. But that's a good, I could put a bunch of books in there and bottles of water and whatever else I needed. The other thing Numar does 
if you've watched our videos, you've probably heard it a hundred times, but this storage goes all the way through. It doesn't have any barriers up here, meaning there's not a, there's not a um, divider in here. But what they do is they put a 110 up here. There's actually two plugins. And then there's a place that you can put your sleep apnea cord if you have that. Sorry, I'm trying to find it in the lights in my eyes. But it's right here and in the same spot on the other side. So if you have a cord like that, you can just put it through there and sleep that way. And then it doesn't need to be in your way on your bedside stand. We also have um, windows that open on either side so you can get a nice cross breeze in here. And under all of these beds in Enumar, you're gonna have a little bit of storage under here as well. So you'll see this piece here is the rest of the bed portion for that booth that we saw in the kitchen area or the dining area. This is all your hoses for your vacuum system. And it doesn't even look like it's been opened yet, the plastic's on all of these things, but maybe they carried a little plug-in shark or something. But lots of space there. Back here, of course, this is your hanging wardrobe. And that's gonna go all the way to the other side. And you might see there's a safe back there. Um, it's not a super deep safe, but I do think it's really important to have a safe when you're traveling, especially for a long period of time. You might wanna bring some documents and things like that. So pretty deep amount of space here in your closet. I know other brands will make it really narrow and you don't know until you move in that your clothes are all hanging kind of sideways at an angle. So the Numar makes it nice and deep. And then we've got some more storage up here. The tall member of the family gets that one, <laughs> not me. And then down here, we've got a little bit more storage as well. Here, I'm gonna open the bottom one so you can see they're double, double deckers here. And then we have a heating vent down there. This is your washer and dryer stackable. And then you've got a little bit of space down here. I would think you would put your fabric softeners and things like that down there, your spare socks. On this side, we have another Samsung um, 4K TV another audio visual cabinet. And just, just for your information, these cabinets always look different. And that's so that you can, it can receive the signal of your remote controls through that glass there. So they just do a, like a darkened glass rather than the wood, otherwise it wouldn't be able to get through. And then of course, six really deep drawers. These are all the same, so I'm not gonna open them all, but you can see there's six of them across here. So lots of space. And then a little bit more up here. And again, they're not blocked here. So I love that. Um, I'm gonna close this slide up while I'm here so I don't have to come back later. But um, tell you a little bit about Numar's slide system. Numar was the first company to ever have slide outs in their motor homes. Um, so they started the whole trend, I guess you could say, of having slide outs. Um, it makes so much more space and so much more of a livable area in a motorhome. But here's the other thing that's so interesting to me is that all these years later, it's been a, a long time, they still use the same system. So they use a cogwheel system, like a cogwheel train, and it's about this thick of a cogwheel and the little clicks go an inch for each click. So they very rarely fail. Um, they're very, very sturdy and stout and heavy and they just work. So they just have stuck with them. Those of you who've had other brands um, know that those ones that are they're like on a little zip line there. They get jammed up really, really easily and they're pretty expensive to repair. So having these makes such a big difference in the long haul for not having to replace it all the time. 
Um, we'll do a quick overview of the cab area. Numar Superstar and Supreme Air, the only Super C's on the market that have an air ride cab. All of the other brands couldn't figure out how to keep that air ride system, so they would cut it off. Um, so what that means is that this cab floats. And if you, let's say you were driving and I'm standing here, this floor is moving. So I could be standing here and here and be moving two different ways. That just gives you a much more comfortable ride. It's gonna save your back. Um, and no one else has figured out how to do it as of yet. So here we are in almost 2023. So keep an eye out. That is something that just sets the new Mar apart. Um, this is a M2106 chassis. We have a Cummins um, 350 ISL 8.9 liter engine and an Allison transmission. Um, I wanted you to see that these seats do both turn around. I just turned one around for demonstration purposes, but they do have the heat. Um, they are air ride seats. There is lumbar support um, and a shock absorber on these and then just different adjustments as well. So lots of um, ways to make this more comfortable and a better ride for you. The cab is pretty simple. And I'll just tell you that if you buy from us, we give a very thorough and really fun walkthrough, actually. We have a really great guy that does our walkthroughs, and he, he just will answer any questions that you have. So we're going to teach you what all this means. So I'm not going to go into great depth, but I can tell you that I can drive this so you can drive this. It's just a matter of learning. It's not that different, really, than any other truck. But here in the cab, we of course have powered heated mirrors and only one of those is going to move. And then we have your cruise control system is over here. Um, your lights, your wipers, you know, the basics. I'm going to turn this on real quick just so you can see mileage and how this all looks. Ooh. Snow just picked up again outside. So we have 5,867 miles on this coach. Not very many at all. Most people would say it's barely broken in. I'll just turn that off. And then we have your marker lights. Um, this is of course that Allison transmission I was telling you about. Powered windows, mirror heat, door unlock, lock. Um, this is your parking brake. You don't have a pole brake in these. Um, and another thing that's different about these is this is your shifter. Reverse neutral is actually gonna be park as well because you have to have that applied and then drive. And then this is just to shift, but you don't have to because it's an automatic. Um, here we have your suspension override. Um, test your lights. Um, this is a regen for your, um, your DEF system, basically your exhaust system. Um, this button is really important, I feel like. So, and not everybody puts these on or in the cab area, um, but what it does is if your chassis battery goes really low, you can pull from your house battery to get your engine started. And once your engine is running, it's going to be recharging those house batteries anyway, so you don't need to worry about that. But it's just a fail safe so you can get home, so you don't have to get a jump or whatever like that. It's basically a jump built in. You do have a generator start and stop here. Um, engine brake, you've got a high and a low, and then in the middle is off. This is just to switch your cameras. So um, you need to know there is a backup camera on here as well as two side cameras. And when you're driving, um, it might not work right now, but let's see. So when you put your turn signals on, your side view is gonna auto populate there and your reverse likewise. Um, but I just turned the blinker off so it went off. But that way you can see um, what's next to you, especially down low. Um, Numar mounts them really low on the body um, so that you can see dogs even and little children, things like that, or even like a boulder or a pole that you could hit. Um, it just makes it a lot safer than having them up on the mirrors up here. A lot of brands just put them on the mirror um, because it's easier. Um, we also have, of course, you know, music in here, but we have your Rand McNally navigation system in here as well. 
And what's great about that is that um, you can program your height, weight, width, etc. in there, um, what kind of a motorhome you are, and it won't take you on any roads that you're not going to fit down. So it's uh, motorhome specific. Um, we also do have serious capability in here. Um, this button is what controls that sunroof shade up there um, that we talked about earlier. So it's really cool. You can do that while you're driving if it's just getting too hot up in the cab or something like that. But I love that they did that. It's just such a, um, how do you, I don't even know how to say it, but it just opens the cab up so much. It just feels freer than having something over your head all the time. Um, so that's about it up here. We do have a braking system, um, Primus here. So that's if you had a tow, you know, a trailer or something that you're towing, it'll break for that as well. Um, but that's um, a little bit deeper than I wanted to get into right now. Um, we can get into all those specifics with you um, when you come and pick up, or if you have questions beforehand, we can answer those for you as well. Um, I'm going to put all of the slides in now so that we can see the outside well. Um, and I think I'm going to need to move this recliner back in just to get this slide in without hurting it. Let's see here. There. You're going to see, though, when I do close this up, there's quite a bit of space for people that are just hanging out in the back. Um, you can definitely get to the refrigerator in the bathroom while we're closed up. not going to be doing a lot of talking. It's really important to pay attention to what you're doing when you're putting slides in and out, just for safety purposes, also for keeping your motorhome intact. This coach does have solar prep. It does not have solar on it, but it's ready with the most expensive component, which is the wiring for it. So if you chose to add some solar, you're ready for it. Okay. All right. So here's the space that I have for getting through this area. This is probably the tightest spot, especially since these move. You got plenty of room in here. And like I said, these can be moved sideways and that'll save you probably this much space, about five inches, six inches, but very easy to get to the cab. I'm gonna go back so that you can see the refrigerator does open and you can get into the bathroom as well. So here's that pivot door and this is why it matters because it gets pretty tight in here with the slides closed. But it's doable. And then here, fully open the refrigerator. So they do think of these things nowadays. Back in the older motorhome days, they didn't necessarily get all of that hammered out right away. I'm gonna put my hat on because it's super cold today and snowy. Okay, outside we go. So first thing you'll see here is we have a beautiful full body paint. There are no decals on this coach whatsoever, which means that for years and years to come, it's still gonna look this beautiful outside. Um, right here by the door, these are the hydraulic steps I was telling you about. Um, what's so great about these steps is there's three of them for one thing. So that really helps if you have bad knees or you don't have very long legs it helps you get in a little bit easier but also it goes really low to the ground so it's a lot easier for maybe some older people um, but also this has a sensor right here 
If it touches anything like a curb or your leg, it's gonna stop right away. It's not gonna keep trying to go and break itself. So really great to have the hydraulic step. We also have um, a programmable key code for the door as well as the basement storage. So those will be two different codes that you can put there. Um, you're gonna program your own number in there and um, it just keeps that stuff safe if you're going in and out and aren't keeping a very good eye or something like that um, you can do the basement separate you also have a doorbell which seems silly but when you're in the back of that coach you cannot hear when somebody's knocking really quietly these doors are super well insulated and that's one of the downfalls if you will of <laughs> the great insulation is that you can't hear somebody knocking so having a doorbell is really nice and again more residential um, those Gerard awnings are out for you to see right now. So pretty. And then you might see the black pieces there. The longer ones are slide toppers and that's gonna keep debris from going inside of the coach when you close your slides. Um, say there's um, water on top of your, of your slide, it's gonna push it off instead of putting it inside your coach when you bring your slide in. So really nice feature. And then right over the window are those manual awnings. Um, there's a hook in the back I'll show you that you just latch on there and pull those down. Um, they're really easy to use. Um, so over here, these are the side cameras I was telling you about that are placed much lower than other brands. And that really is for safety. It also saves you money if you happen to break your mirror or break your camera. You only have to replace one component rather than both. So that's nice. Up here, we just have a little bit of storage. And these are um, WeatherTech blinds for the front cab. So they're gonna keep heat and cold out as well as blocking all the light. Um, but you can see that there's a light in this little bay and it's carpeted, again, for noise and for things not to be shifting around as wildly. Over here, we have eight deep cycle batteries. These are your house batteries. Plenty of power. You also, excuse me, can probably hear the generator running right now. It's an eight kilowatt Cummins Onan diesel generator. Um, slide motor here. A Little bit more storage over here. And again, another light. You will notice that these doors, like I said, really well insulated. That's probably an inch and a quarter of insulation in there. So they keep it very warm in the winter, cool in the summer. Um, basically, whatever you've got in there is what it's gonna keep it. Um, but that continuous hot water system, the Oasis we talked about earlier, it does keep this area warm if it's winter time. So, even though we're hesitant to say something's all wet, all season or four season, um, because it really it does take a little bit of um, care on your part to make it that way. If you keep that um, oasis system going, your basement's going to stay nice and warm, so you really shouldn't need to worry about it. Um, obviously, we've got another Samsung TV with the Bose sound sound bar. Behind there is a water tank, so that is why you have a low point drain right there under the TV. And you also have USB and another 110 down there. This is another thing that sets the Superstar apart. We have pass-through storage down here and a lot of it. So you can see this goes all the way to the other side. You can see the sunlight over there. So if you have long items, bikes, uh, fishing poles, tables, whatever it is, you can stick those all the way under there. And that's something that Super C's have been lacking for years. Um, we also have a tray up here um, that you can put more long things up top. Um, this is a chassis rail, obviously, so it does get in the way. And that's why they never built uh, pass-through storage on these in the past. Um, but they found a way to make this work. Uh, Numar also does something um, structurally that's one of those things you don't see it, but you can feel it. And over time, your motorhome um, stays better intact.
but it's the star foundation that they weld to the chassis frame. So this here, that doesn't come that way and other brands aren't gonna have that. Um, it keeps you from bending and twisting, um, popping tiles, um, noise. Uh, the biggest thing that I notice in a less well-built motorhome is that uh, they'll get a lot more squeaky and creaky over time and you'll see things starting to fall like cabinet doors will start to sag and fall it's because the structure wasn't built well in the beginning you're putting these things through an earthquake every day that you're driving um, they have to be built a little better but to sell a motorhome most people just look at how it looks um, does it meet my knees and is it pretty okay that's what i want but Newmar builds it better so in 10 years your cabinets aren't down the road or falling off for that matter which actually does happen in cheaper brands so something to look into um, having it built better you really do get what you pay for on these um, and Newmar does do it better so a little bit more pass-through storage oh this is the hook I promised so this is how you um, pull down those manual shades it's just a little so it makes it really easy. You don't have to get up on a ladder or anything. And then we have some extra floor tiles in case you drop a pan on one and break them. Um, we do have a 20,000 pound towing hitch here. And I think you saw the ball in the, in the door back there, but it can handle 20,000 pounds. That's really one of the main reasons you would buy a Super C over another class of motorhome um, is for towing capacity. You also do get more torque. Um, there's also the serviceability aspect that we'll um, talk about when we get up to the engine compartment. But that's a serious hitch. That's going to pull pretty much anything normal. If you have, you know, 18 race cars you want to tow, maybe not, but <laughs> pretty much the average person, that's going to get them up a mountain and be able to tow anything without you even noticing. This is just the other side of that pass-through storage. This little compartment is so that you can put your black hose in there and it keeps the, the whole water bay sanitary. This is, of course, your water bay here. Um, your drain is out here, so it's not touching anything either. Smart. Um, we do have sewage rinse place here. Um, and auto fill. These are all um, powered pumps. And then we do have a whole house water filter, which is what that component is for in this component. It's disassembled right now because of the freezing temperatures here. Um, we do have an external shower. And then we have a um, fresh water hose here that is powered. So that's so great. Um, when these get cold or dirty or wet and you're having to kind of manhandle them because they get really hard um, this is just going to make it so much easier just a power retract and it's the same situation on your 50 amp cord oops so i'll show you that too this is that oasis hydronic heating system i was talking about that works with a glycol mixture um, basically like an old radiator back in the old days here we have your inverter and that 50 amp cord I was telling you about. So it does have a power rewind reel. Again, such a lifesaver, a back saver. It doesn't get your hands all dirty. Um, it's just so many great things about that. I wish all motorhomes had that. And then we do have a surge protector with a transfer switch already built into this coach. So that's back there as well. A little bit more storage here. And then there's your Cummins generator I was telling you about. Just for those of you who are curious, we have 191 hours on that generator, which isn't that many. Um, one more storage bay, but in this storage bay, there's something really important. This is that air system for your cab that I was saying it's unique to Newmar. So that keeps this front area aired up it's also an auxiliary air system if you don't want to start your engine and get your air up you can use that as well um, entry is actually really easy to get into 
Um, some of these are hard to get into because they're just so tall for us little people, but there's really great handles in here. So lots of places to grab that are more secure. I do worry about that, especially when it gets icy out, that um, it's harder to get up in these, but this was very easy for me today. This is your um, diesel fuel fill compartment and it is locked so nobody can mess with it. Um, there is one on either side and they're both 50 gallons. You can fill them both at the same time. And then you do have a DEF fill, fill in here as well or DEF, however you wanna say that. So that's in there as well. And then, oh, one thing I did wanna mention that's on my notes that I didn't think of. This, um, another thing about the Superstar that sets it apart is most Super C's are built on a much smaller wheelbase. This has a 329 inch wheelbase, which is gonna give you better weight distribution and a better ride overall. Um, let's see if there's anything else I missed here. 150 gallons of fresh water, 40 gallons of black and 60 of gray, just if you needed those specs. I'm more than happy to email you or um, again, video with you if you need more information on this. Um, I do ask that you email or call me though. I don't always see the YouTube or Facebook comments or I see them much later and I don't get back to people in time just because I don't get notified of those. So we talked about serviceability and this is what's so great about this. When you're looking at a diesel pusher, um, most of them are gonna have a radiator covering the engine compartment. Some of the higher end ones will not but still, it's a lot harder to access all this stuff. This is um, all out in the open. Uh, you can service a lot of this yourself. So that's what makes this so great. Again, this is a 350 um, Cummins engine. And uh, just everything clean, easy to access here. You can change your filters and your windshield wiper fluid and whatever it is. So love that about a super c um, there is also a safety component here you've got an engine in front of you you're not just right at the front of the road um, so some people feel safer uh, in that situation i think motorhomes are safe in general but um, i would love to talk to you about this or any of our other motorhomes we do carry uh, the newmar line here the full line all the way up to king air um, we can order for you as well but um, please give me a call or email me um, I'm Teresa Crawley at Teresa.Crawley at transwest.com. I hope you have a blessed day.